Hey, welcome to Geek in the Family. We're taking a look at No Man's Sky Beyond release just came out a few days ago and uh, to that they added a lot to the base construction and specifically they added power sources. Now there's several different ways you can get power sources. There's biofuel generator which is your first level. There are solar panels and then there's these guys here, which is an electromagnetic magnetic generator. You set that on top of an electromagnetic hotspot. The way to find those is with your multi-tool. You go to F when you have it installed, and then you go Q to activate. See that right now I am on top of a hotspot, so it's gonna pull it up. There we go, it's analyzing now. One of the things I've discovered is you can put more than one electromagnetic generator onto your hotspot to get it going. The other thing is to get power into your standard structures, you gotta set something up that's gonna receive power, run it to it, and then link everything to it this is uh by the way i'm doing this on creative mode um mainly because i was doing some experimentation and, and trying to figure things out one of the downsides with the base building which i believe is a bug that i hope they will fix soon has to do with landing pads you can't attach a landing pad to a building right now which is problematic to say the least. You can go out and build a landing pad on your site. Oops. Oops. Awesome. And then add structures to it. The only problem is It does it too bloody low. Can't get through the door. Look at it, it looks kind of funky. The door is not lined up correctly on the building. And that's a problem. Hopefully they'll get that fixed. The only one they found that can work is if you put two cuboids, one on top of the other for your entryway, then you can get in and out. That's not ideal. Oh. Uh, Wiring up the standard structures that you start off with for, for power. Just run it to somewhere on the outside and then start running around the inside. I've got I got a proximity switch. Probably don't need that. They seem to be on all the time. Might be the way I have it wired. The other thing is, people like to build orbital platforms. As you can see, I got an orbital platform. The only problem is once you have it up there, you can't add landing pads. So, they did include a short-range teleporter and that you can build. And, uh, let's see, it's under tech, under power, power, and short-range teleporter. That's the stuff it takes to make. And, uh, you need two of those, one in your, for each end, and then you have to connect them by a, a wire, power wire. There's the wire going up and out from that teleporter. You see it going all the way up to the space station where its teleporter is. Once you have that hooked up, all you gotta do is jump in and poof, you're at the other end. Now we're up on the space station. This is my orbital station. It's part of the base. I put in a whole lot of solar panels. More than I need to run this station. Two batteries. I tear some of this down. And uh, right now it's dark. So the solar panels don't charge at nighttime. And they don't charge the batteries at night. But, you know, I got an orbital platform. 
Now, I'm hoping that they'll fix the part with the landing pads soon. And, um... So that we can add landing pads to our bases in, in orbital properly. And, uh... When that happens, that'll be a good thing. Uh, the way I built this one, because I was trying to get it lined up over the base, is I just took these, um... What you call it structures the cylindrical rooms just started stacking them all up and then put ladders up through them and climbed all the way up the top and that works it takes a lot of resources if you're not in creative mode but tearing it down was a real pain in the behind um, so I would go ahead and use the um, basic structures uh, stairways to get up that the altitude you want and then build from there because those will be a lot easier to tear down so that's about it they got a hello games has been working hard at fixing all of the bugs since it's, yeah since they released beyond i think they've done like six or seven bug patches since the release the game is running much smoother now i found that it was defaulting to a different uh graphics hardware card I'm used to. I mean, I got a GeForce in here, which is a good card. And I had to update the drivers for the GeForce to work with the game. But, uh, let's give you an idea. Oh, yeah, one more thing about the, um, different, different uh, electromagnetic power hotspots. This is a, a potential B. There's four different potentials, C through S. You can also get, um, Gas clouds and mining. It looks like they got two other settings that might show up eventually. And that's uh, about all I got on right now. Oh, yeah. Standing planners. I think they uh, still seems to be in the menu on this save, but uh, it doesn't produce carbon anymore. And that's kind of uh, inconvenient, hopefully. That's only a bug, and we'll see that return and fully operational. I don't know what their plans are, but we'll see. But to their credit, they've been doing a lot of changes and uh, a lot of bug fixes since the release of Beyond. Hopefully, the one with the landing pad, it's getting a lot of, a lot of comments from people on the various forums. But it's a problem, and hopefully Hello Games will get that fixed sometime soon, but I think it's a lower priority than fixing performance and issues that they've been running into and uh, which I understand they've been so much appreciation to Hello Games for putting together this uh, great expansion and uh, finding it's it's really enjoyable and hopefully uh, this will be helpful for you with your base building going through beyond with getting uh, power in your your buildings and such and do a little figuring out for this especially for getting up to there from down here yeah that's about it so thanks for tuning in to geek in the family we'll see you next time around ciao